Hey guys, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Look what I got for you today. 66 Chevelle with a 572 from GM Performance under the hood. Look at this beautiful car. Slick as can be. That white paint is smooth as can be. That chrome looks like it's brand new. That grill also looks like it's brand new. Real badass hot rod right here. Then it's got this cow hood on it looking sweet. Check out that cowl. And as you look down the side, straight as an arrow. And then it's got Kragers on it, baby. She's got a great stance to her. Looking beautiful. 66 Chevelle, one of my favorites right here. Matter of fact, any Chevelle. They're hot as can be. Let's check out this interior, man. Red. Looking beautiful. The door jams look good. The door panels look good. The carpeting looks like it's new. The upholstery on the seats looks like it's new. Package tray back there is in great shape. It looks like it's new. Headliner's in good shape. The dome light's working up there. And then check out the dash and the steering wheel. I love those uh, two-pronged steering wheels, man. I just, those just so cool and the skinniness of it. Today, all the steering wheels are so fat. The dash itself is in beautiful shape. All the chrome looks good. All the paint's looking sweet. Then we got that five speed shifter there. That's hooked up to a Richmond five speed. Badass Chevelle right here with 572 in it. I'm going to pop open the trunk for you. You can see that the chrome and the trim, the aluminum, stainless, everything back here looking shiny. Now, whenever you're looking at a car, you got to look inside the trunk. Check these lips on the deck lid like you check on the doors and on the uh, rear quarters. And also look at the trunk floor. A lot of these cars would leak water and these trunk floors took a beating. Always pull up that mat and look. It looks like it's got a uh, aftermarket wheel there um, as a spare, too. It looks like a brand new uh, BFG there, and I see the jack in there. You can see the paint on the bottom side of the deck lid looks good. Looks like they replaced the rubber around the opening. Looks like the latch is new, too. Now look down the side of this thing. Get a load of the stance, man. That is what a hot rod looks like right there, guys. Jacked up a little bit in the back. Kragers on it. 572 power, five speed. Get this baby out on the expressway and go. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do any consignment whatsoever. That means we own this Chevelle. So you know we did our homework before we bought it. Then when they get in here to the shop, we inspect them, we get them up on the lift. That way Tom can answer every one of your questions when you give him a call at 248-974-9513. Stick with us. We're going to get her up in the air right now. Guys, we're in the 66 Chevelle now and it is nasty outside so we're not driving this beauty in the nasty weather. We got 572 under the hood. We got everything in here looking almost stock. It just looks great. I love the knee knocker tack here. Looking good. Um, Richmond 5 speed. So that's an upgrade obviously and you can tell it's an upgrade with the old cue ball on here. I tell you, she is a beautiful car. And we can deliver this baby anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. And don't forget, time answers this phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. I gotta tell my quick story real quick. 
My dad and I used to drive a 66 uh, Chev back and forth to work every day, but it only had a six cylinder in it. So this one's about 15 times more powerful than that car. We used to call that car Old Bessie, but we'll call this one Betty Lou because she can giddy up and go. So stick with us. We're going to put it in the air for you right now. All right, we're underneath the Chevelle now, and man, it's pretty under here. You can see that it's got a new tank. It's got some killer exhaust on it. Looks like it's a Flowmaster kit because it says Flowmaster right there. And that's all mandrel bent stuff. Uh, in the rear end, we've got a 307 gear and it is a limited slip, so that's posi. We do have uh, Willwood disc brakes out back. Looks like brand new shocks here also. Working our way forward here. The frame's in good shape. It's got uh, reinforced lower control arms. They look like they're aftermarket. Um, the upper control arms are also reinforced. Um, these may be custom too. It looks like I see a weld right there, so it's probably a custom made deal. Uh, the, again, the frame's nicely coated. Looks like we got a new fuel line here. We got nice um, paint on the floorboards. We got a new brake line going front to back. And the exhaust is looking sweet going straight back. We got the Richmond uh, five speed trans. Uh, explosion proof bell housing here. We got Willwood uh, drilled and slotted rotors and disc brakes up front. Again, looks like new shocks up front here. We got a sway bar up front. Front frame horns are nice and straight. Bottom side of the radiators, aluminum looking good. The uh, core support also, that's one of the areas I look at on all these cars. It's looking good. Back side of the bumper is just about as clean as the front side of the bumper. And then on wheels and tires, we got good old Kragers. They look like they're brand new. And let's see if I can find the size on these tires. 225.15s, 225.60.15s. I left something out. Walking down the side here. This is something you need to look at on every car, this pinch weld. And also feel the back side of the rocker. Make sure that back side piece is nice and smooth, which this one is. And out back here. Looks like, uh, there it is, 245-60-15s out back. You can see that the wheel well's nice and clean there. The uh, lip molding here on the wheel well's looking good. Man, real sharp car, real clean underneath. Let's get under the hood now. All right, under the hood here, we got a GM Performance 572. Now this is a 720 horse model. Uh, real badass right here. You see GM Performance right there on the uh, end of the head got the bow tie there on the intake. We got a great big old Demer with Demon carburetor with the Dominator um, flange on it. We got the big pulley on the alternator. It's got an aluminum water pump. Again, I talked about the radiator when I was on the underside. We got a great big old fuel line bringing fuel up there. That little gadget you see right there with the gauge on it, that is actually the fuel regulator that controls the pressure going into the carburetor. We got an MSD um, box on there, fire nut distributor. It's got a great big old uh, hot coil on it. Looks like a uh, billet distributor back there. You can see that the firewall's nice and clean, nicely painted. It does have stock um, pairing exhaust manifolds on it. Uh, the inner wheelhouses are all nicely painted. Again, the top side of the core support looks good. The bottom side of the hood's nicely painted. This is one beautiful machine, guys, and she's got a great big old GM Performance horse up front. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.